This teacher, along with over 200 students and other witnesses, were threatened by the military to keep quiet about a UFO that they saw on April 6, 1966 in Melbourne, Australia. What I find most interesting of all, uh, that, that I was definitely being told to be quiet. This mysterious incident that occurred at Westall High School in an ordinary suburb of Melbourne has continued to capture the public's imagination to this day. During midday recess, a cigar-shaped grayish silver object appeared in the sky, hovering above the school for several minutes before disappearing into a nearby grassy area. The object was witnessed by over 200 students and teachers, including a science teacher, Andrew Greenwood, who stated that it was a UFO. Cylindrical um, or cigar-shaped object. The incident was not just a fleeting glimpse of something strange in the sky. Witnesses reported a range of phenomena, including a sudden drop in temperature, a high-pitched whistling noise, and a feeling of static electricity in the air. None of the witnesses managed to see the UFO on the ground, but they did get there just in time to see it take off, and then ran over to where the UFO landed. Now, to their surprise, there was a mark on the ground with a circular imprint on the grass. Soon after the object took off into the sky, many of the witnesses saw the UFO being chased by military aircraft. After the object disappeared, military officials arrived on the scene, threatening everyone not to reveal what they had seen. The Australian government has declined to comment on this incident, and witnesses continue to come forth and testify about what they saw. The military's cover-up has led many to believe that the UFO was of alien origin. It's hard to deny such a significant incident with so many witnesses, and it's unlikely that over 200 witnesses and teachers would lie about what they saw. Despite numerous witness testimonies, the Australian government refuses to release any information about this incident, and it leaves many people wondering what really happened that day. But I want to know, what do you guys think? Do you believe that over 200 children and teachers would lie about something like this? If you want to learn more about this fascinating UFO sighting, check out the ufodatabase.com and make sure to leave a comment below with your theory.